Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the C release or the non-security update for Windows 11. In this video, we're talking about the latest version or the latest build, which is build 2006-31.2792 or version 23H2, of course. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest update for the main release. And before starting the video, a few disclaimers that were given directly by Microsoft. First of all, for the month of December, there won't be a non-security preview release. There will only be a monthly security release for December 2023. And that is because, of course, the holidays and the new year that is coming. So there will be no C release for the month of December. Also, after February 27, 2024, there will no longer be optional or non-security preview releases for Windows 11 version 22H2. Only cumulative monthly security updates will continue for the support editions of Windows 11 version 22H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe subscribe the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Those things being said, let's begin with the video. First of all, you can now use Copilot in Windows in preview across multiple displays. You can press the Copilot in Windows taskbar button on the taskbar of the display where you want Copilot in Windows to appear. To show Copilot in Windows on the last display that it was on, press Windows plus C. If you use a keyboard, press Win plus T to put the keyboard focus on the taskbar, then go to the Copilot in Windows button to open it on any display. This is available to a small audience initially and it will be rolled out to more users in the months that follow. You can also use Copilot in Windows with Alt plus Tab. When you press Alt plus Tab, the thumbnail preview for Copilot in Windows appears among the other thumbnail previews of Open Windows. You can switch between them using the Tab keystroke. This is available again to a small audience initially, but it will be rolled out to more users in the near future. You can also ask Copilot in Windows for help 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. After that, you must sign in with a verified account. These include a Microsoft account an, and Azure Act Active Directory. Note that the name for Azure Active Directory will change to Microsoft Entra ID. This update also improves how fast Copilot in Windows opens from the taskbar. This update addresses an issue that affects the Copilot in Windows icon on the taskbar. It does not show an as active when Copilot in Windows is open. In the coming weeks, you might see Windows Copilot set as the default background. This might occur when your background is set to an inbox Windows image. Also, this update starts the rollout of account-related notifications for Microsoft accounts in Settings and Home. A Microsoft account connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. The account backs up all your data and helps you manage your subscriptions. You can also add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. This feature displays notifications across the start menu and settings. You can manage settings notifications in settings, privacy and security, and then general. This update also affects dynamic lighting. It reduces the amount of power it uses on your device. Also, an issue that affects the cursor was addressed. Its movement lags in some screen capture scenarios. Also, an issue that affects the widget notification badge was fixed. It was in the wrong position on the taskbar. Related to File Explorer, we have a few fixes. For example, when you press Shift plus F10, the shortcut context menu does not open. This was fixed. Also, related to File Explorer windows, when you do not expect them, they appear in the background. And the options in the left pane show the wrong state. Again, these are some things that were fixed in this update. This update addresses an issue that affects apps that you download from Microsoft Store. They stop responding and will not update. Also, the context menu on desktop and also File Explorer should be improved. It should have now a better performance. Of course, we also have a Windows 11 servicing stack update with the build 22631.2567, and this basically ensures that you have a reliable servicing stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. Of course, if you plan to update to this latest version as soon as possible, make sure you enable this toggle, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, and you should also get certain things that are slowly rolling out in Windows 11. So this was basically the latest update for Windows 11 that may release the C release for the month of November was delayed until now in December, but it's basically the C release for the month of November. Don't forget that in the article below, you're going to have more info about this update and you can check that out there. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.